Welcome everyone, Sandra Alexei here, and I want to thank you for taking the time. So I'm going to share with you some of the cosmos energy that's around, okay? So today actually I'm doing the solstice, and it is actually on uh, June 14th, and we are experiencing a super full moon at 23 degrees of Sagittarius, very powerful connected with the galactic um, center. Okay, so first and foremost, okay, um, I am a spiritual and business coach. If you look underneath and an author, you'll see my website. It's mypersonalmuse.com and you can go in there and you'll see all of the different services that I do offer. Okay, it's all about self-discovery, um, what's happening, um, how you have changed. We've all changed over the past, okay? And uh, what what can we expect? What's happening right now, collectively and personally, okay? Now, if you go to the top uh, on the right, you'll see where there's uh, my latest book. I was a co-author. It's called Game Changer, and it's the new model of relationships. Very Aquarian. On my website, there's other books that I have also written. Okay, what I would really appreciate is if you would comment. If you comment, once a month I do a draw so you get a free mini reading. I do sessions and readings throughout the world. I do them with Zoom. Um, so you can have check out the website and if there's anything I can do for you, you let me know. It makes great gifts, birthday gifts, um, special occasion gifts, and I'm having some gift certificates um, designed right now. Okay, if you would share and if you would subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. So let's get started. Okay, celebration. Okay, big changes happening in the world. Festival time as we honor the sun with the two solstices every year, one in June and one in December. People around the world celebrate the day with feasts, bonfires, picnics, and traditional songs and dances. The June solstice marks the longest day north of the equator and the shortest day south of the equator. Many are awakening as we come into a powerful galactic alignment. Life seems to be speeding up over the, over the next few weeks before the solstice. It's a magical time when fairies and spirits can cross easier in the human world. Since the veils are thin, it's a great time to connect with the spiritual realm, as there is so much coming through and the veil stays thin until winter. Great time to prepare as there will be some powerful activations and DNA upgrades. On June the 20th, as the sun moves into Cancer, it's a time to celebrate and honor our summer solstice. I'm in the Northern Hemisphere and the winter solstice in the southern, which is an important and ritual, ritualistic day designed to celebrate the changing of seasons and the new energy. Many of the world's oldest monuments are built in alignment with the sun on the day of the solstice, for instance, Stonehenge, as we honor the sun. Because of the planetary alignments and considering that the light is upgrading our bodies personally and collectively, there's high frequency potent energies which result which can result in extreme intense emotions. This auspicious time and serendipitous events create incredibly positive energy, which is all about you having a bigger vision for yourself and your future. The energy over the next two weeks is, is about taking back and stepping into your power. This year on the day of the solstice, there's a lucky moon, Jupiter conjunction in Aries. And right now we have Jupiter and we have Mars in Aries. So it's all about like action. Becoming more conscious, aware and observant as you realize only you can take care of self and your job is to raise your frequency. Now as the divine is taking care of the collective. The summer solstice is believed to hold great energy, prosperity, vitality, and strength. In pagan times, the summer solstice rituals were conducted to honor the sun gods, the divine light, and the element of fire. That's why the bonfires are so popular. 
Ways to celebrate the solstice are many. You can spend time outdoors, hug a tree, lay on the earth, walk, stand barefoot, bring nature into your home, do yoga and sun salutations, chakra meditations, lighting candles, and a great time to cleanse your crystals. With waves of cosmic energy, meditate and create intentions for you. Today, people around the world still celebrate the arrival of summer with outdoor feasts, singing, dancing, and bonfires. So wherever you live, there might be some special uh, celebrations. The beauty of this incredible moment in time allows for your creativity to be channeled, expressed, and focused from what your spirit desires and your imagination. Thanks for the light that guides our days. Other things you can do is to observe the sky from an astronomical point of view. Create an altar of light by arranging candles. Lastly, you may declutter and cleanse your environment prior. And then on the solstice, you can smudge your environment and yourself. We're also collectively experiencing the Pluto and Capricorn. So there's been lots of changes and happening in the collective. I don't need to go into that. Okay. Um, this is this Pluto and Capricorn transit, which has been around since 2008 and will be around until 2023. There's a bit of a dip that Pluto moves into Aquarius in 2023 for a bit. So, so there will be many shocking revelations and it's corporate and political, all societal structures and personal. So there's been a lot of corruption, greed, deceit, lies, power over and controlling hierarchical structures. So it's exciting times as we can expect more integrity, more truth, more transparency, and more accountability for the benefit of all involved, sovereignty and moral competency. Mystics throughout time have known there is more to our world than the five senses as life is multidimensional and we are in process of ascension to becoming galactic citizens. Fascinating times. Many blessings, much love, and it's a great time to have a private session or, or a reading. Let me assist you in looking at your nodal axis positions or a Pluto retrograde. A lot of people are doing a lot of uh, past life and karmic uh, sessions also right now. All about self-discovery. The whole the key to life is knowing oneself and to thyself be true. So again, I would really appreciate it if you would comment, if you would share, and if you would subscribe to the channel. And many blessings and much love and enjoy. Hopefully you can find a celebration near you or make your own celebration. Take care.